Thank you very much, uh, Chairman. Good afternoon, Excellencies, dear delegates, uh, colleagues, and friends. You might not have recognized that uh, tune. It's perhaps not quite as popular as uh, Chase Hibbs, uh, but it's very well chosen, I have to say. I don't know who chose it, but it's a very nice song. It's a Welsh song, as I'm from Wales, as you may know. So that uh, was uh, very heart rendering. Thank you very much for that. Jacob uh, said he'd been in ITU 35 or 36 years, I think, but I can beat him. <laughs> in fact, it's 40 years this year since I first participated in ITU. And I must say, it's been a truly wonderful experience working in ITU, firstly as a delegate, and then as director of TSB, and finally as deputy secretary general. So I would like to uh, express some hopes for ITU's future, which as we know uh, is somewhat challenging. I believe that uh, ITU's unique tradition of reaching decisions by consensus based on a willingness of everyone to compromise, together with uh, its reliance on regional preparations and regional common proposals, will see ITU through these rather turbulent times. With so many organizations, including uh, UN bodies, now using digital technology to achieve their aims, there's an increasing uh, risk of duplication, which makes my three favorite words ever more in important, and that is collaboration, cooperation, and coordination. I hope ITU will continue to focus on its core competencies and avoid duplication of effort and concentrate on pooling its limited resources. ITU has always kept uh, in the forefront of technological advancement and this will be very important to further improve uh, the working methods such as uh, paperless working, teleworking, and uh, flexible working, remote participation. These are all integral to the modern ITU culture, which will be in the new headquarters building. That's uh, one regret, of course, I have, is that I won't see the new building project through to completion. The new building will be a headquarters worthy of ITU staff and delegates well into the 21st century. So let me again give my thanks to all those administrations that have sponsored and supported uh, the project. Since uh, joining ITU, I've always promoted uh, work on uh, climate change, accessibility, gender, and bridging the standards gap. So it's very nice to see how these have uh, progressed in, in those years. And uh, I always recall uh, when I published the first ITU report on ICTs and climate change in 2007, it attracted so much skepticism. I was always being asked, what has ITU got to do with climate change? What have ICTs got to do with climate change? So it's nice that that question is not raised anymore. It would take too long for me to name all the incredible people I've met and had the pleasure of working with, both inside and outside ITU. But there are three persons I have to mention. Hu Lin Zhao, of course, 
who I've had the pleasure of working closely with for very nearly 16 years and who has become a, a close friend. We always seem to have the same view on everything. Sophie Geraz, who has been an outstanding uh, assistant to me throughout all the years, I would have been totally lost without her. And my dear and long-suffering wife, Catherine, who has always been my support uh, throughout. Many of you know her because she's been at my side at every plenipotentiary conference from Minneapolis to Dubai. So she sends her best wishes to you all. But of course, I have uh, so many friends and colleagues from so many different countries, so many administrations within ITU, Secretariat. Let me just say thank you to all of you from my heart for your personal support to me, for your friendship and your collaboration over the years. I also, of course, am very honored and obligated to uh, the UK government for its strong and vital support to me in all my elections. And I particularly like to thank all the hardworking members of all the campaign teams that have worked hard for my election. So I look forward to a new era for ITU, a new management team, a new council, including, I'm pleased to say, the UK, an invigorated uh, ITU that will face the challenges ahead. Let me wish you all every success for the future. Thank you and good luck.